Hi guys, I am back and I am back with some goodies. Yesterday I had such a good mail day. Um, I opened up this package, this beautiful, beautiful package from Pixie, and I wanted to use their um, shadows today on camera. I have never used Pixie shadows before, so I thought this would be a great time to test them out. They are so beautiful. So this one looks like it's, yeah, it's all glitter. And it's called Eye Reflection Shadow Palette Reflex Light. Um, and then this is more of like a grayish, um, cooler tone palette. And this is called the Natural Beauty Palette. And this is a mix of um, sh uh, shimmers and mattes. So beautiful. And then also, I received this cute little pouch. Kind of reminds me of like a sunglass case. And there are three little brushes in there. So I want to test them out and see how I like them. They are. They look promising. Um, yeah, they look promising. This one is a nice fluffy one. This is more of a dense brush. This one I can use for like packing on colors. So I want to try these out. And I will try a few of the shades out and see how I like this. I am such a big fan of Pixie products. I have a lot of Pixie products. I mean, I have a lot. These are f facial mists. So this is a makeup fixin' mist, and this one is a rose glow, glow mist. I also have a ton of their toners. I have their rose oil blend, too. This is so cute. I love their packaging. I think Pixie does it right. <laughs> I also have a huge toner, so cute. Um, I have just a lot of products that I wanted to use today. So I have these. I also have these, they are so loved. Like this is my favorite at the moment. As you can tell, I've been using a lot of it. This is a highlighter. And then I also received this a few weeks ago. Two came in the mail, but one was cracked. But this one is still good. So this is called Pink Champagne Glow. I like that. I also use this rose moisturizer. And I like it a lot. I've been using it for a while. As you can tell, Like the top is like completely empty. I've been using it for a few weeks. And also, I had the chance to try these two out. This is the Rose Caviar Essence, and this is the Rose Flash Balm. Also really good. Good stuff. I just like it. I've been using these few, for a few weeks, just testing them out. Oh, and also, I have two whole rolls of Pixie um, Liquid Lips. They are nice, too. I like the formula of those. So anyway... I wanted to start, and I'm going to start with um, one of the sprays. No, I'll use this one. This is the Rose Glow Mist. Um, in the winter time, I'm okay with using glow products because I'm pretty dry. This stuff smells so good. So I'll let that. And then I'll follow it by... Um, with this rose cream. It's like a moisturizer. It's very thick consistency. So I really like it though because I'm dry. So yeah. And it's this is so not overpowering at all. If you don't like a rose scent, you will still like this um, cream and moisturizer. It's actually really, really good. I 
as you can tell, I mean, this stuff is very hydrating. Okay. And today I'm going to mix two foundations, my Ride or Die Estee Lauder Double, double Wear, and then this one that I just picked up, it's the, the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear. It's super matte. And I do like it. Um, it's very, it dries very fast on the skin, whereas I feel like the Estee Lauder one doesn't dry quick. Um, so there, it's a good mix. I've been mixing them for a few weeks now, and I like it. Just make a little concoction on my, the back of my hand. And then I'll start. I'll start buffing that in with this Real Technique sponge that I love. It's the Miracle Complexion sponge. I use it all the time. If you guys hear like banging or, or laughing or talking or any noises, that's because my entire family is downstairs. My husband's with the kids downstairs. They're doing like Legos and they have all their crafts out onto the, at the kitchen table and they're just hanging out. So it was a good time to record a video. They also have the fireplace going which we love, love, love to do every night when we're home in the winter time. It's like our family tradition. So they're just hanging out while I'm applying some makeup. Um, we, we typically put the kids down at their bedtime and my husband and I hang out downstairs. Um, and I still like to look cute, even if we're just staying home and staying in, I still get ready for him. So we call it like a date night in. It's cute, we've been doing it for years and we love it. It's like our favorite, favorite time together. So anyway, I just dragged that down my neck. So that we have an even application um, next I'm going to use this revolution conceal and define full coverage concealer I'll put that under my eyes I've also been testing this for a few weeks and I like it. Actually, let me put some here too. And down the bridge of my nose. There you go. I love how that instantly brightens my face. So pretty. I love the way that looks. Um, next I'm going to use this YSL 
cream bronzer. I really like it. I go in between this one and the Chanel, the Chanel one that I use. They're both so good and they're both so creamy. Oh, it's so pretty. Now this one is a little bit warmer toned and I would say a little bit more creamier, but it just, I use whatever I'm in the mood for. I like, I really like both of them, so. Sometimes I get stuck on using the Chanel one for such a long time. I just pull this out and I'm like, this is great too, let's use it. So I just go in between the two. And then I like to just do a little bit on my nose, nothing crazy. Even though that looks kind of crazy right now. <laughs> oh, I, I think I overdid it. I think I put a little bit too much on. That's okay. There you go. Nothing concealer can't fix. Cool, awesome, awesome. Next I'm going to use my Airspun um, setting powder. And I just go in underneath my eyes with this. I chisel out my contour with this. I will brush some of that away. There you go. And then I go in with my beauty blender just fell. Then I go in with my Laura Mercier Glow Powder powder. I really like this stuff a lot. I use it every single time I do my makeup. It has like a mo the most like delicate shine and sheen. So I go in on my like contoured areas with this. And then I just brush out the excess and kind of like spread, spread the powder. But initially I go in setting my bronzer with this and then I move it around. So wherever you tap the, the brush first, that's where you'll deposit most of the product. And then I brush off whatever I put on with the other powder with this. And then I go on the sides of my nose. And since my foundation was so um matte i always add use this because it kind of adds a sheen back into your face so you don't look completely matte there you go next i wanted to share uh, a bronzer that i really like it's this cute little baby by morphe um Here's the name. I think it's called Deputant. Yeah, Deputant. And what brush do I want to use with this? No, not that brush. I'll use my Morphe M523 brush. I really like this. It deepens my contour further good stuff and I just go super lightly here there you go love that and now I wanted to use my pixie pixie glow champagne pink champagne glow um, blush so pretty so it goes from like light 
to like a pinkish to like a brown so technically you could probably get away with deepening up your contour with that but it has so much glitter in it that I just kind of keep it I actually don't use the pink I kind of use right in between here the color in between it becomes like a deeper mauve love it it's so good brush I'll use this brush this is a brush that has no name or no brand but I love it I bought it at Walgreens like I don't know so many years ago it's such a good pl blush brush look at that sheen it's so pretty so like I said I go like right in between the two and look at that pigment it is so good you guys I'm telling you I love pixie products I'm so happy to get the opportunity to to test them out because they are so good so good and then I'm going to pop on my favorite highlighter at the moment you see how it looks like it's wet I love it there's like no chunky glitter in it it kind of leaves the face looking kind of like wet this one is called subtle sunrise this one is good too it's called delicate dew but it's a little bit deeper so when I'm tanner I'll probably use this one as you can tell this is more of like a gold and a pink whereas this one is more of like a champagne gold not like yellow gold you know okay and then I'll use this Morphe M310 oh, look at that oh, so pretty that like lifts lifts my cheekbones even higher it lifts them to the sky <laughs> I love that I love a good glow then I just do a little bit on my the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. And then whatever's left over, I sometimes put on my forehead. So that's that. I really, really like those products. Um, next, I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm going to fill them in with my precisely my brow benefit brow pencil. And then I just repurchased the Gimme Brow, which is, is like my favorite thing in the world. Um, I ran out and ran dry of my other one. I'm going to move my mirror in a little bit closer for this part. And I'm going to fill in my brows. I already did like a similar, um, video. Like my quick everyday makeup. But here I'm like using a lot more than a little bit of makeup. So I wouldn't call this like my everyday. This is probably more of like me going out kind of makeup. I may fast forward this, the brow portion of this um, tutorial only because they take such a long time. I'm happy with that. Let's see what this one looks like. I already mentioned it, but this brow is naturally much lower than this brow. So I have to kind of fake it and draw on a lot more brow up here. As you can see.
I hear my daughter telling my husband she's hungry. She's still hungry. What's new? That little girl is always eating. She takes after her mom. So then, yeah, I go in and like try to try to even them out because I don't always pencil them in exactly the same way. Sometimes I give myself a higher arch, or and I never really worry about making them perfect, honestly, because if I tried to do that, I'd be here all day. So I try my best to just get them close and go on with my day. By the way, I just got my lashes filled this morning and they are so full, so big, but that's the way I like them. <laughs> my lash girl is so good. Like, I love her so much. She's the nicest person, so laying there and talking with her the entire time just makes the time fly by. She's such a nice girl. All right. That's pretty close to me. <laughs> that will do. Next, I'm going to start on my eyes. And I'm not sure what shades I will use. Actually, I see one that I love. I'm like obsessed with this one already. I think, I think I'll put this in the crease. I'll definitely use this one and this one for under my brow. And then I'll probably like use this one on the outer corner. Maybe this one or this one on the middle, in the middle. We'll see. I'll play around with, around with it. And then I also have this, which I might play around with a few of these shades too, we will see. We'll see what I come up with. Awesome. But first I'm going to prime my lids and I'm going to prime with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I love this stuff. I'm ready to go. Here I come. I'm just gonna blend this out with this concealer brush by Bliss. I picked this up at Nordstrom Rack. You know when you're standing in line and they have a bunch of stuff there. So I decided to, let's try this, why not? And it's not bad. It gets the job done. This is actually a concealer brush. I'm gonna set that with this color right here. It is called Petal. Petal. I'll actually use this brush that they sent. It's called E02 or E02. I'm 
this brush is super soft. Extremely soft, wow. Next, I'm going to use this color right here and it's called Rose Clay. I'm just gonna use my E40 Sigma brush. I'm gonna keep this color pretty low. I'm not gonna drag it too high into my crease. That's so pretty. So I'll use this kind of like as my transition shade. Just adding a little bit of death, depth into my, not death, depth into my eyes. To my eyelid. Now there is a tiny bit of fallout, but honestly, a little bit of fallout never bothers me. I'm okay with a little bit of fallout. I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It is called Deep Taupe. I'm actually gonna try this brush the E03. It's a little bit of a smaller brush and more dense so you can pack on color. So you kind of work, this brush you'll work into like smaller areas. You wouldn't want to use a small brush across the crease. You want a fluffy brush there because you're depositing a little bit of color on the entire crease. Here you're depositing a little bit of color on one area, one small little area. That is so pretty. This is kind of like a, a grayer tone. I like that a lot, actually. And then I'm going to use this E01 tiny little brush to pack on a shade on my lid. Let's see what color will complement what I just did. You know what? This cute pink one will. And it's called Pink Luster. Oh wow, it's very frosty. Now, I'll be honest with you, I typically just use my finger. You see that? And you get the best payoff. I use that with most shadows I pack on with my finger. On the lid, I mean, I'm talking about the lid. When I use, when I pack on color on the lid, I typically use my middle finger. See how quick and easy that is? Just wanted to give that brush a try though. Now I'm going to go in like I normally would and just deepen what else, anything else I want to deepen in. If I want to add color, I add color. That is beautiful. I must say, that looks absolutely stunning. And it's quick. I really like this brush, the E02. It 
is very thin. I like that a lot. I'm going to use that smaller dense brush E03 with the same color that I was using earlier. And I'm just going to deepen my under eye area here just lightly. And I feel like that always, you see how well this works? Um, and I feel like that always takes the look from daytime to nighttime. Like a deeper smoky lid. Yes, I like that. This shade right here, it's called Gold Foil. And I'm going to just put a little bit underneath my, my brow. Just to kind of add some dimension here. That is beautiful. I did want to just swatch, going to swatch the top, the top here. Look at that, guys. That is very foiled. I love the way that looks. As you can see, it is beautiful. I wanted to swatch maybe this row right here. Here, let me show you how easy it is. Look at that, so foiled. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, you guys, that is pigment. So this is the All Shimmer palette that I'm, it's called Reflex Light. I really, really like it. Beautiful. I'm also going to swatch this one right here. Let me see what that looks like, because it looks very metallic-y. Wow, that is beautiful. Overall, I'm very impressed. I really like it. So pretty. Um, and I'm just going to spray my face with this Makeup Fixin' Mist. I've used this several times already. Maybe this is like my fourth time using it. I do like it and it smells so good. Now, what lippy do I want? Here are three nudes. And I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's called Bare Beauty. This smells like candy. It smells so good, I like it. I like it a lot. There you go, that's such a pretty color. <clears throat> so like I said, this one is called Bear Beauty. Let me, let me just swatch some of them for you. So this is the Bear Beauty. There. This one is called Pastel Petal. This is more of like a mauve pink. There you go. And I already, it's almost dry already on my lip, so. Okay, let's see. Matte Beige. This is even more of a mauve. Such a pretty color. And then I have Oi Natural. I guess that's what it's called. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correct. And then this one is more of like a warmer shade. It's right there. It's pretty. They're all pretty. And as you can see, they're all very different, although they look similar in the packaging. This one is a lot deeper, Berry Boost. 
And it, I already wore this before and I love it. It is absolutely stunning. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my gosh, these are two of my absolute favorites. So this one, the ar more orange, orangey one is called Orange Red. I am obsessed, you guys. If you're going to buy anything, buy that one. Look at it. Oh, it's the best. It's such a bright lip. And I love it in the summer. But I would wear it even in the winter. Now, this is like more of a true red. If you can see the one up here. Um, it is called Real Red. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, then we go into this one's called Really Rose. It's right there on the bottom. It's very pretty. That's more of like a purpley pink. This one is called Evening Rose. And it's extremely similar to that one. It's a little darker though. But in the same family. And then these are the last two I have. This one's called Peony Pink. Oh, so pretty for the summer. That's like a Barbie pink, like a purple pink. So pretty. And then this one is called Prettiest Pink. And it is super bright. It's like a neon pink. I don't know if you can see. It is super pretty. Super out of my comfort zone. But I still like it. I also got these a few months ago. It's called Sunray. This color. It's it's the liquid fairy lights. It kind of reminds me of the Stila Mag the metal magnificent metal. It's right there. The magnificent metals by Stila. It's very similar to that. Um, I love that gold one. I also love this one is called crystalline or crystalline i don't know this one is super pretty it's a little bit more sheer but you can still see it i would use it as like a topper on some, on a color that i already have on a lid or i would put it like right in the center so pretty and then they also sent these and they're more of like pinky so this one's like a pink. This is like a champagne-y color. It's like a light brown champagne bear brilliance. This pinky one is called Rose Gold. And then this one is called Passionate Light. And it's like a burnt orange kind of color. And it's so pigmented. Look at it right there. Right there. So pretty. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, if I could just narrow it down to a few products that I love, love, love by Pixi, my number one recommendation would be this toner. I am obsessed. I actually refilled it already. It was like down to here. I had a, a bunch of these little ones that I just kind of dumped in here. Um, love. That is my favorite product by Pixi so far. Absolutely obsessed. I do love the formula of these liquid lipsticks they are amazing they're soft they're velvety i love them they're good um and i absolutely love this um highlighter one of my favorites so that's that this is great too all of them are great every, i could talk about every product i love them all but those are my f few favorites like absolute must-haves if i would if you wanted to go into pixie those are the products i would recommend you pick up first anyway thank you so much for watching i had a ton of fun trying on all these products i pretty much did half my face with brixie products and that is very exciting for me i feel very lucky to be getting um, packages from them and i feel very lucky that i can um share these products with you thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more, more videos to come